Thank you for joining me the webinar. My name is Kyle, and I'm here to uh, explain you on how to install AirFile patch. I understand you might have had some troubles with uh, installation, and I'm going to cover some of the pain points and guide you on how to solve those issues. So what I'm about to cover is the uh, installation process, and I'm assuming that you already know the whole process. So I'm going to skip points that you already know or obvious. So, but there are some elements that you find it difficult or have problem with. So I'm going to cover just that. And the first point is finding the right location for um, of AirFile patch on RF card reader uh, to power your device. Second is registering the device through your app so that it's uh, register on your site. And third is finding the location for uh, RF output. First and third sound similar, but they have totally different purposes. And I'm going to cover how they're different. Uh, I've set it up the uh, environment so that if you tap on the RF card reader, uh, there's no response from the device. And if you're looking at the log screen, there's nothing coming up on the log. If I try it again, there is no response from the device and no log update. So first you want to start off with the device installation. And I want to find the right place first uh, for the po to power the AirFop patch. So first, you could start off from anywhere on the RF card reader. Uh, but most importantly, you want to find that right spot. And that right spot, if you place AirFile patch on the RF card reader, you will see the LED lighting up on AirFile patch. And if you, see, if you look at the device, and you will see a red LED coming up. If you're not seeing any uh, LED, uh, it's implying that there's not enough power coming off from the RF card reader to power RF patch. So you want to try a different place. But first, if you try the uh, anywhere on the RF card reader, you will see a LED coming up, LED lighting up. And if it's blinking in red, like right now, it's telling me that there is power uh, coming off from the device, but there is just not, uh, the power is too low. So it's telling you uh, that the power is low and blinking in, blinking in red. So you want to try somewhere else. You can move it around a different place, anywhere. And if you, by any chance, if you catch a place where um, the LED is lighting up, green like right now, then it's, it's you found the right place. And you want to uh, record that. And how you do it is if you look at the back of the AirFile patch and you have the double-sided tape. Of course, you, you could remove the protective film completely, but I, I advise you that you don't. And instead, you remove partial, uh, just part of the protective film just enough to uh, place your air flap on the reader. Yep. Like right now. And the reason being is if you remove uh, the double-sided tape completely and you repeatedly attach and detach while uh, testing different locations, uh, the adhesiveness will eventually uh, be weakened and you uh, eventually end up uh, wearing down and it could possibly make the device fall off and you don't want you don't want to see that. So instead you want to remove just part, uh, part of the adhesive tape, uh, protective film and place it there. And it's blinking constantly in green, so you found the right uh, position. 
Secondly, uh, what you want to do is you want to check uh, two things. That, that's my advice. You want to see whether uh, that particular location is providing enough RF signal to part of the device. And number two is that does that uh, spot um, um, makes the uh, RF output uh, without any troubles. So if you're seeing uh, what you've heard uh, previously, the beep coming off from the RF card reader, is that's, that's because uh, AirFob patch is creating a random RF output of random uh, CSN to tell you whether that spot is the right spot uh, to make the RF output work. So if you have found uh, the location to satisfy those two factors, one for power, two for RF output, then that's the spot. But uh, how, how can you tell whether that's the spot for RF output? You could try it, you could remove the airflow patch and see whether uh, you remove it and wait until the power goes off. The LED will light up constantly if it's powered on, but it will eventually go off right now, light right now. And you could place it again. And if you're hearing this beep, uh, then uh, five consecutive times, then that's the right spot. But if you're, for instance, hearing only one or two um, randomly, then that may be not the right position. And you could also uh, try different angles. So my tip is you could try in different angles. And to try that again, you want to power the device off again, wait until it goes off completely. And when it's ready, you want to place it uh, on RF card reader again. And the place where uh, AirFob patch uh, sits on the RF card reader may vary, depends on each RF card reader. So if you, if you may see, uh, on this demonstration, uh, this may be the place uh, for this RF card reader, but it may be different on different card reader. So. That's the third, that's the fourth, and the last fifth of RF output of random CSN. And since I found the right place, now, this is the final position, so you could now remove the um, protective film completely and fix it on the RF card reader firmly. About doing so, that's the complete installation of the device. And now uh, you can move on. Now, you, uh, just, just to uh, double check, you could always uh, check on the LED to make sure that it's working. Now, I have the car, but this device is not registered on Biostar or the site. So you want to register this device through your app. And if that is the right position, then you will see on your Biostar, uh, so this is the card I uh, downloaded on the mo uh, my smartphone, but there's nothing coming up on the log. That's because this device is not registered. So you want to register uh, that device through your app on settings. So what you want to do is you want to go to the right uh, top right corner settings menu. You want to scroll down to uh, device registration. You want to tap on that, and you want to uh, log in, sign in with your uh, administra administrator account.
So after signing in, uh, you want to select uh, the site you want to register the device on. Select the site and then now you have to menu. You want to select the bottom where you want to register the device. And you see the AirFot patch coming up on the list with the uh, wireless signal strength. You want to click that button to register and confirm. OK. Now the device is registered on the site. You could go back to the menu for the lists of uh, registered devices. It's, you could check there and you find it registered. Now you want to go back, way back to the uh, screen where there's the card UI. Because within this uh, registration uh, screen, the card will not operate. Uh, you want to double check that if it's not working. So if I tap with the card, You see it working on the device, also on the log, there's a log coming up. Yeah. For instance, if you're tapping with your smartphone on the device, but it's not working, you want to check whether you've selected the right card. Because with wrong selection of card, it uh, will not operate and it will not uh, update on the log. So you want to check whether it's the right car. Yes. And if I remove it, of course, this will not work. So um, to sum up, uh, there are a couple of things that you want to check uh, when you're uh, installing AirFrap Patch. One, you want to find the right location to uh, that powers your device, AirFrap Patch. Two, does that uh, spot also the right spot for RF output? It may be different. Uh, it may require a different angle or position. It could be this, it could be this. Or it could be this, or it could be, yes. Def depends on each uh, RF card reader, it may be different. And third, you want to register your device with your app. And once registered, and you want to select the right card. When you're uh, installing AirFlap patch, you, don't, you see no LED, then there's that's not the place, so you want to try a different location. Uh, if you see LED, but it's uh, lighting up in red, it means there's not enough power coming off from our card reader. So you want to try, you want to find a better uh, location. You found the right location, but it's blinking in green and still not work, then it may be not in the right uh, position or angle for RF output. So you want to uh, rotate it or try a different position. And when you finally found that right position, then you want to remove the uh, protective film and attach it. Right here. And with the right card for your site, you could tap and work. Uh, thank you for joining me through the webinar. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. And thank you for your time.